Hey guys, I want to do a quick video in the fish room. Um, and this is uh, just showing some tanks that I've moved. This actually, I guess, is not going to be what I consider my fish room, but it is where I have my 225 and my 125 both in the same room, which will be pretty cool. Um, this is in my basement, so you definitely don't want to do this in the uh, living room unless you reinforce your floor. But uh, yeah, I got my 125 set up and running. 225 is not quite there, uh, but I will get there hopefully in the next week or two. But uh, I just wanted to kind of show some updates and uh, show how this tank was doing. You can kind of see this guy is really aggressive. Uh, my male angelfish over here because he bred and he's got some eggs up in here. And like, the white ones are not fertilized, but the rest of them are just about to become wigglers. And he's been guarding them pretty strong uh, for a while. And this is his female right here. Um, but it seems like he's just super aggressive right now to everyone. Um, everything else is going pretty well. Um, and I take it as a really good sign that he's bred. Um, they haven't been here very long. It's actually the second time they laid eggs in there, in this tank. And then, uh, what also is cool is my long fin albino bristle nose. Uh, this one over here is where my male is, and he's guarding Fry. Uh, his female is just hanging out in the cave right now next to him for some reason. Um, and I do have my green dragon phantom plecos in here, sitting in the back, and some of my little angels that I've grown up uh, from Fry. Uh, a lot of my, I, I, I did lose some hemi iotis, um, which was kind of sad, uh, but <laughs> for the most part, I did pretty well on my move. I didn't lose that many fish at all. I lost one kind of runty blue diamond discus. Um, but everything else did really well in the move and, and I got stuff breeding really quickly uh, between plecos and angels. And even uh, <coughs> I have my 75 gallon upstairs in the living room that bred pretty quickly too. And they look good. Uh, or my, my lalupi bred in that tank, uh, in my African cichlid tank. So. Everything's doing really well in the move. Um, still got to do a lot of aquascaping here. Didn't just kind of throw stuff in real quickly. Just threw the wood in so it'd stay kind of waterlogged and, and stuff like that. But even with that, um, you know, kind of minimal water changes, I got stuff breeding, uh, which is a good sign. I mean, they got healthy fish. They did well in the move and everything's going pretty well. But uh, yeah, the big project is, of course, to get the 225 up and running. Move my discus over there, and uh, maybe the hemi iotis and the rams, and and definitely my green dragon uh, plecos because they're gorgeous, uh, but they they just need more room I think too to to get bigger and start breeding and and whatnot. So that's the end goal for those guys. But I'm going to take a little walk around the corner here, and this is where I have most of my fish, and what is what I consider the the fish room. Uh, over here in the mechanical room um, and here it is so I have a lot of tanks kind of stacked up uh, I got a 55 gallon a 20 a 30 gallon um, and then my other rack is a 55 gallon with two 20s on top <laughs> and then I made a rack here where if I want to I could put another set of tens right now it's a five and a two and a half and then I got two tens and another two tens and then this is the 36 tall that I'll put my angelfish in eventually. And then a uh, 20 gallon kind of grow out tank. And uh, you can kind of see in this one, these guys have been breeding pretty regularly too. This whole cone is covered in eggs. You can see that in there. Um, and she's about to fan them as well. So they've been doing a really good job. This is a very big spawn. And uh, it looks good. I apologize for all the glare. It's kind of hard when I got this fluorescent on top. Uh, but I have like a 55 dedicated for African cichlid fry. And then I got a 55 gallon kind of dedicated for angelfish. And there's some some plecos running around in, in here too. Um, so I think I like that setup. I'm going to keep it like that. I kind of got some grow outs and 20 gallons for... Uh, these Kados and Lalupi. And then in here, I got some more just Kados and Lalupi. And uh, I got my gobies in here too. Uh, the gobies sitting, I apologize for the 
dirtiness, but that's a goby cichlid right there just looking right at us. And then yeah, there's Kados and a Lupi in the back, but this guy's been looking good, real good. You can see how fat he is. He's been eating really well. Um, there are two in here, and then there is a couple uh, younger ones in here. Um, that's one right there, yeah, next to a Kado. So they seem to be getting along pretty well with all the other fish. There's about, there's five in this tank that I've caught. Well, well four actually is what I've caught, counted. Um, and then here, <laughs> in this 10 gallon, I had my Lalupi breed really fast. So if you can see in the back there, there's uh, actually two sets of Lalupi. There's a little one, some are a little older. And then there's some really younger ones I just put in there. Started swimming uh, about two days ago. So everything's doing really well. It's breeding. Um, I think I'm good to go on, on fish on the move for the most part. I just kind of kind of set up tanks and move stuff around. This one has angelfish fry that I pulled out of there and you can see there's quite a lot of them. They're still pretty young, maybe only a week old. But uh, there's one big thing I guess I do still need to do and that's over here. I, can't, I have too many tanks is really the moral of the story but this is where the the similis are and then kind of my leftover extra lalupi uh, bred in that cave and then there's some kados trying to just grow out as another pair so I'm gonna set that I'm building a stand right now um, there's kind of the outline of it and I'll put it right here just on the other side and I'll put a light on this side too because I can't see anything but uh, overall yeah this is the fish room pretty excited with how it looks um, it's a lot more compact, which is good. I got my filter set, my water line set in already, so water changes are easy. Man, I did, I did my first couple water changes without that set up, and I was hauling buckets on these 55 gallons and even just filling these tanks up. Man, I don't. If you're doing that, you know, more power to you. But I can, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have a fish room without having a hose connect to fill stuff up real fast um, and then draining it right to this drain here because hauling buckets is no fun so more power to you if you're doing that and uh, yeah so appreciate it I'll kind of do some updates uh, on, I might show the 75 gallon uh, in another video later that's up in the living room it's starting to look pretty good I kind of aquascape that a little more because it is on the main level but uh, yeah, that's what I got going on, and thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted.